This is Precalculus A, Unit 7, Sequences and Series, Lesson 1, Sequences. I have on my screen an example of a sequence. It's read A sub n, or the sequence A sub n is equal to 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and so on. Okay? And just to read, uh, reiterate or uh, explain a by way of explanation a little bit here as well, I would say a sub 1 is 1, a sub 2 is 1, a sub 3 is 2, a sub 4 is 3, and so on. Okay, so each one of these refers to the first, the a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5, a sub 6, a sub 7, a sub 8, a sub 9. And this is a very famous sequence called the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, and I will leave it to you to figure out what the rule is for the sequence, but it's, it's, a, it's a very well-known sequence. Fibonacci was a mathematician in the middle of the 11th, or yeah, the 11th century, the 1200s, uh, so it goes way back. All right, so there's a couple of things we need to know about sequences. There are two ways that we're going to look at to name or identify sequences. One is with an explicit formula and the other is with a recursive formula. In the case of an explicit formula, we have a formula a sub n equals 2 to the n over n factorial. And I need to introduce uh, the concept of factorial. n factorial, so let's say I had, um, just off to the side here, let's say I had 5 factorial. That would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay. Factorial means to multiply by the, the, the uh, whole number by every number, every whole number below it, counting down by ones. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay. So a sub n equals 2 to, the, 2 to the n over n factorial. I can generate, use this formula to generate the sequence. So I can generate a sub 1 is 2 to the 1 over 1 factorial, which is defined as 2 to the 1 is 2, 1 factorial is 1, 2 divided by 1 is 2, so the first term is 1, is 2, a, a sub 1 is 2. a sub 2, the second term, 2 to the second over 2 factorial, 2 to the second is 4, 2 factorial is 2 times 1, which is 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2 a sub 3 is 2 to the third over 3 factorial. 2 to the third is 8. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. 8 6 is 4 thirds or, yeah, I'm just going to leave it as 4 thirds. And a sub 4, 2 to the fourth over 4 factorial. 2 to the 4th is 4 times 4 is 16. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 is 12. Times 2 is 24. Times 1 is 24. 16, 24, it's reducing by 4 gives me 4, 6. Reducing by 2 gives me 2 thirds. Okay. And a sub 5, we'll stop here, is 2 to the 5th over 5 factorial. Okay. Uh, 2 to the 5th is 32, 5 factorial is going to be, uh, 4 factorial is 24, so 5 factorial is going to be 5 times 24, which is 120. Okay, let's divide by, hmm, by 4, we get 8 over 30, and I can divide by 2 and get 4 over 15. So we would say, a sub n equals 2 comma 2 comma 4 thirds comma 2 thirds comma 4 fifteenths comma 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 chameleon. Alright, 
I dare you to, to tell me if you get that 1980s joke. All right. <laughs> so that's an explicit formula. The idea being that n is an index that can change, where we insert the numbers sequentially, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, to generate the sequences of the term, or the, the terms of the sequence. <coughs> Recursive formula is a little different. You'll notice we start by giving a formula for the first term. Well, we just give the first term. The first term is negative 4. Every other term is defined by the previous term. So the nth term is defined by the n minus 1th term plus 5. So basically, it just means we're going to start at negative 4, and we're going to add, add 5. So a sub 2 is a sub 1 plus 5. Well, a sub 1 is negative 4 plus 5, which is 1. a sub 3 is a sub 2 plus 5. a sub 2 is 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. a sub 4 is a sub 3 plus 5, which is 6 plus 5, is 11. And a sub 5 is a sub 4 plus 5, which is 11 plus 5, which is 16. So in this case, a sub n is negative 4 comma 5, or no, negative 4 comma 1 comma 6 comma 11 comma 16. Okay. All right. And so we have a recursive formula. And notice the rule here is simply saying add 5 repeatedly. And so it's based on knowing what the first term is and then having a rule to generate the rest of the series. Explicit versus recursive. Recursive oftentimes is easier to work backwards and figure out. Explicit is more difficult, but is also generally more useful. Okay. So that's what we're talking about in this lesson.